to, to watch it back. Uh, so they're recording now. Um, welcome everybody to my informational session on the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. Um, my name is Abby Jerozovich. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, and I am the Scholarship and Student Program Coordinator at uh, the College of Liberal Arts at CSU. And uh, so thank you all for, for being with me. Um, I also kind of serve as the Administrative Coordinator for the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. Um, and so that's that's a little bit about me. Um, so I will be giving our informational session today. If you have questions uh, throughout the presentation, please go ahead and put those in the chat. Um, I will answer those at the end. Uh, so if stick around, we should definitely have uh, uh, plenty of plenty of time to uh, talk about any of those sort of questions and things like that. I don't think my presentation will go the whole 30 minutes. Um, and if you have any more more pressing or more urgent questions, then feel free to go ahead and unmute uh, and we can chat that way. But thank you all so much for being here and we will go ahead and dive right in. So I'd love to start by talking a little bit about the history of the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. Um, so the Blake Leadership Scholars Program or BLS was founded by CSU System Chancellor Emeritus Joe Blake. Uh, Joe Blake is really invested in the liberal arts here at CSU. Um, he's given a lot of time and energy uh, to our college, um, and we're really, really grateful that he was able to help us establish this scholarship program. Uh, Joe Blake had this really great desire to connect CSU's wonderful, amazing, accomplished faculty with really excellent and motivated students. Uh, and so he helped create this merit-based leadership program. Um, we've got a quote on here from Joe Blake that says, I have nothing but the highest regard for the faculty at CSU. They're just remarkable. And how do you enhance their prestige and their value better than bringing up the best young minds for them to light up? Uh, and so the mentorship, the connections between students and faculty is really at the heart of the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. This is a photo of Joe Blake uh, and a couple of our earliest uh, Blake Leadership Scholars cohorts. Uh, we have an event every year uh, and where all of the cohorts can come together. And so the Blake program is the realization of Joe Blake's vision to really cultivate leadership, foster civic engagement, and celebrate the value of the liberal arts among CLA students, College of Liberal Arts students uh, at CSU. So, oh, sorry about that. Skip ahead. <laughs> Uh, so what is the uh, the Blake Leadership Scholars Program? Uh, I'm sure you're wondering. So the Blake Leadership Scholars Program is a four-year program that is really enriched with mentorship, service, and leadership opportunities. It being a four-year program means you have to apply uh, while you're still in high school and planning to come to CSU. So while you're still a prospective student. Uh, and then once you are admitted, as long as you continue to meet the requirements for the program, you will stay in until you finish your degree. Some of the goals of the Blake program are to help students really feel connected to and supported by the College of Liberal Arts, but also Colorado State University more generally, uh, and even the community of Fort Collins. Another one of our goals is to provide access to service and leadership opportunities. Again, those can be within our campus community, but also within our wider communities as well. And lastly, our goal is to encourage scholastic excellence through academic and co-curricular experiences. And we'll talk about what that looks like in just a little bit. So one of the main tenets of the Blake Leadership Scholars Program is that faculty mentoring connection. Um, how we really facilitate that connection between uh, Blake Leadership Scholars and the faculty of the program is through a uh, Blake Leadership Seminar. So Blake students will have two seminars that they take throughout their time in the program. The first will be in their very first semester, in their very, for very first year. Uh, and in that class, they will meet their faculty mentor uh, as well as the rest of their cohort and really get to know uh, the CSU community and start thinking about how we can use the liberal arts to better our communities. You also will have a seminar in your junior year that's really more focused on postgraduate success. However, your faculty mentor will be the same throughout your all four years in the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. So you're really able to build that connection with them 
you're going to get to know them really well. They're going to get to know you uh, and they're going to be able to help you with whatever your next steps may be while you're still at CSU and also once you graduate. So these seminars are really designed to both challenge and empower students, um, really asking folks how to consider the disciplines of the liberal arts, um, how those disciplines might remedy, repair, solve problems that are facing humanity in the 21st century, uh, while also providing students with opportunities to act in response to those problems. So these seminars are one credit courses. They'd meet once a week for only an hour, uh, but they're also designed to have out of the classroom experiences as well. So a lot of our Blake students are uh, attending plays or musicals, um, musical acts, uh, going to book readings and author talks, things like that, that are outside of the classroom experiences where we can continue thinking about the things that we're learning. Another really important aspect of the Blake program is peer mentoring and peer mentorship. Um, the Blake Leadership Scholars Program is very close knit. Uh, we only take on eight students in each new cohort. Uh, and so students really get to know each other uh, in their cohort, but also all of the students in the program. Um, you know, they're so close in age and there's a lot of opportunities for everybody to come together uh, and really share experiences and make sure that folks are able to get involved and so all support each other. Uh, and so first year students receive some encouragement and insight from students in their junior and senior year. Um, and scholars in that junior seminar are uh, tasked to set up regular meetings with first and second years and help connect first year scholars with people and programs on campus and then also around the community that will help them really maximize their time at CSU. Uh, and so as you move through the program in your first and second year, you are on the receiving end of that mentorship really uh, helps a lot to find different connections around CSU. And then when you are further into the program, you are the one that is helping folks find those connections. Uh, so really it's a, it's a great opportunity at the end of uh, your time in the Blake Leadership Scholars Program to, to give back to the next uh, incoming cohorts. I would also love to chat about how our Blake Leadership Scholars get involved at CSU. Um, both with service and leadership opportunities. We've got leadership right in that title uh, of the program. And so it's a really important part of what our students are doing. Um, I have a video to share with you all. And this is a video that our junior year Blake students put together this semester in uh, their seminar. So it is all student made. It is very, very cool. Um, I love this video. It's not too long. It's just a couple of minutes. I will say the volume is a little bit quiet. Uh, so I have it up full volume on my computer. Um, I suggest maybe turning up the volume on your computer as well. Um, again, if you still can't hear it, I am so sorry. It's it's really great, but you'll still at least get to see some, some of the things that our students are doing. Um, once you see the credits start to roll, I would say you can turn the volume on your computer back down. So once I start talking again, I don't wanna blow out your eardrums. Um, but let's go ahead and watch this video from our students. I believe service is an extension of a greater kindness within us all. We are Blake. When we initially conceived of the Blake Leadership Scholars Program, we really wanted to honor the memory and the legacy of Joe Blake. And not only was Joe a fantastic businessman who made a real difference in the Denver area and for all of Colorado, but he was really committed to service. And he just did amazing things for communities both on campus and off. Service is not merely about a give and a take, but an opportunity to create relationships. By experiencing a small taste of someone else's struggles or mission, I know that there's a deeper meaning than simply giving back. The Scholars Program has allowed me to participate in multiple different service opportunities, one of them being Serve 68, which is a Northern Colorado organization specifically helping uh, families receive Christmas gifts. Um, and it was super fun in order to work with our cohort to package up these families' Christmases and um, work with the organization to distribute the trees um, as they reach over uh, 30,000 families each year. And it was an amazing opportunity. Joe Blake was a steward in this community and our cohort wanted to honor his legacy. So in planning different service events this year, we wanted to make sure that we did something to not only touch hearts, but foster and form relationships. 
Engaging the 6.8 allowed us to learn more about the greater Fort Collins community. And fall cleanup day was so much fun and so special because we were then able to interact and impact this local community. The Fort Collins community supports us in so many different ways, and we wanted to lend our support to them as well. My community shows me love in a lot of different ways. And so, for example, we have a fall cleanup that was a way for me to use my abilities to help clean up the neighbor's yard. With the Excelling Citizenship Program, we learn about different ways to be Excelling leaders and showing up to your community through acts of service in a great way to lead with compassion and setting others in love. My service as a part of the Blake Leadership Scholars Program reminded me that engagement offers an avenue for weaving the fabric of belonging. Service isn't just about addressing problems. It's one of the processes that reaffirms our own and others' place in a community that reciprocally nourishes us. Each laugh, smile, extended hand, all of it cements the bonds that tie us together. Through service, I not only offer assistance, but also discover a rich tapestry of experiences, broadening my horizons and enriching my perspective. It's a platform that nurtures empathy, offering firsthand insights into the diverse needs of our society. Integrating service opportunities isn't just about giving back. It's about cultivating a deeper understanding of the supply of gaps and the imperative work needed to bridge them. It's been such a pleasure over the course of my time as a faculty mentor for the Blake Leadership Program to see individual students grow as they serve and learn and work here at CSU, but also the cohorts as they've come together. And the most rewarding thing for me has just been to think not only about what they've done in their service here, but about what they're going to be doing as they move into the future. Awesome. Awesome video. I love it so much. Thank you all so much for, for uh, indulging me and in watching that. I think it's a really great example of the, the, the work that our students get to do. And you can really see in the video how excited they are about, about the work that they get to do through this program. Um, and the uh, other figure featured in that video is Zach Hutchins, uh, who has been the, the faculty mentor for uh, the last four years of cohorts through the program. And so you can really see as well um, the connection that he has made with the students and that the students have with him. Um, and you get to even see a little bit of, of their, their seminar experience as well, uh, in those really small, close-knit classes. Um, and after that great video, I'm sure you're wondering, how do I apply for the program now? Um, and I, so I would love to tell you. Uh, on this slide here, we have our scholarship criteria. So when you're thinking about applying for the Blake program, uh, we are looking for a high school senior who is applying for admission to a degree program in the College of Liberal Arts at CSU. Your major must be in the College of Liberal Arts in order to be a Blake Leadership Scholar. Uh, in addition to that, you must also be applying for admission to the Honors Program. All of our Blake Scholars are also in the CSU Honors Program. Um, our application deadlines are very similar uh, for the Honors Program and also Blake. Uh, and so. Just be keeping that in mind that as you're working on your Blake application, you should also be working on your honors program application. We also uh, look for a 3.8 GPA. Uh, that's a minimum requirement, um, but that is a weighted GPA. So if you're taking lots of AP or IB courses, um, that certainly helps. Some things we look for in our applicants, we really are looking for that academic achievement. Um, and there's lots of different ways that you can show that. That can be through your GPA, class rank, uh, you know, you can talk about the, the strength of your high school curriculum or dual enrollment, um, even a standardized test score if you took a standardized test. Um, so there's lots of different ways that that academic achievement can show up. There's not like a specific, you know, class rank that we're looking for, um, but we really want to see that, that uh, your academics are something that you're passionate about. Um, and we're also looking for students who are you know, have different experiences, different accomplishments, different extracurricular activities, and uh, talents that are demonstrating leadership and community or civic engagement. So uh, if you're involved in lots of different things outside of high school or different clubs, things like that, if you're really passionate about serving your community and being out in your community, all of that is, is really great. Um, and we have a couple of essay questions that can help you demonstrate uh, these different passions of yours and how they show up. So for our essay questions, uh, we're asking for approximately 500 word answers for each one. Um, first essay question is about the values promoted by the Blake Leadership Scholarship. 
program, which are academic excellence, leadership, exceptional character, and civic engagement. Um, we would ask you to discuss yeah. what these values mean to you and detail how these values are consistent with your accomplishments up to this point. Uh, and so rather than just providing a list of here's all of the amazing things that I've done, we really want you to, to go in depth with an example or two uh, about you know, the things that you're passionate about. Our second essay question uh, asks about the belief in the value of a liberal arts education. Uh, and so uh, in this essay question, you can discuss why you believe a liberal arts education is important and detail how your academic interests and goals really overlap with those beliefs. So again, 500 words each, two essay questions, uh, and that's the gist of the application. Um, how you continue in, in the program once you're uh, become once you become a Blake Leadership Scholar uh, is you do have to be accepted into the honors program. Uh, and again, awards are renewed uh, for up to four years, provided that you still maintain an overall 3.5 GPA. Uh, and then you also must be a full-time student with a primary major in the College of Liberal Arts. Uh, full-time status just means you're taking 12 credits per semester. You could take more than that, that's totally fine. Um, but we want you to stay at that full-time sort of level. Um, and as long as you're actively engaging with the Blake Leadership Scholars Program, then we would love to have you stay. Uh, the total scholarship amount, so it is a leadership program, but there also is a scholarship associated, is $3,000 a year for a total of $12,000 over four years. Again, once you're in, you're theoretically in until you graduate, as long as you continue to maintain these criteria. You don't have to reapply every year or anything like that. So. Uh, you would get that scholarship every year that you are still in the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. You can access our application uh, by scanning this QR code. Uh, we can. I will also share the link with you. Uh, but the deadline to apply is February 4th uh, at 11.59 p.m. So you've got that whole day to do it. Um, that is our, our deadline for applications. You will apply for uh, the Blake Leadership Scholars Program uh, at the same place that you apply for all other CSU scholarships. And so you have to fill out the CSU scholarship application general one, um, and then you'll be able to access the more specific Blake Leadership Scholars application. Uh, and filling out that general CSU scholarship application automatically applies you for a bunch of scholarships that you may be qualified for. So you don't have to do too much extra work for that. You're filling out this general application and then you're entered into a bunch of scholarships, uh, but for the Blake one, you will have to specifically apply and answer those essay questions. Again, the link is in this QR code, um, but if you go to uh, Academic Works, if you look up CSU Academic Works, uh, you'll be able to find our scholarship application. You'll also be able to find the link to the scholarship application on our Blake Leadership Scholars website. This last slide is just uh, my contact information uh, and then contact information for our recruitment coordinator, Kristen Mullen. She can answer lots of questions about the liberal arts at CSU, um, the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. Some of our student ambassadors are also Blake scholars. So I'm sure if you end up visiting campus uh, or if that's something you're interested in is chatting with uh, an actual Blake scholar, I'm sure Kristen could help set that up. Um, and you can absolutely reach out to me if you have questions about accessing the scholarship application, um, what the timeline of the application process is. I'm happy to answer any of those questions. Um, you can email me or, or call me. Uh, that's my office phone. But yeah, that is all I have for you. Um, I see I have a chat, so I'm going to check that chat. Yes, when decisions will be released for the honors program. So I believe you should know uh, about your admission to the honors program by March, March, maybe April, uh, late spring at the very latest. That's when they try to have all of their decisions made. Uh, I'm pretty sure their application also closes early February. Um, and so again, that lines up really well with the Blake application. Uh, and so we will be in communication with the honors program about, uh, you know, we have these many students that have applied for the Blake Leadership Scholars Program. Have they also applied to the Honors Program? And they will let us know yes. And so as long as you have applied at this point, 
that is great. Um, and if we get to that point where we want to invite you to be a Blake Scholar and you still haven't heard back from the honors program yet, then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But hopefully those decisions and those processes kind of move at a similar pace. I hope that answered your question. Does anyone have any other questions? Well, I will stick around for a little bit if anybody wants to chat uh, just a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. But again, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I hope this was very informative for you all. I hope I see your applications for Blake come rolling in. Um, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and uh, please reach out to me via email if you have any questions. But thank you all so much.